Okay, so if we want to start at the beginning, we want to start with atoms. Atoms are the smallest particles of matter that cannot be split chemically. Um, there are smaller particles out there. Maybe some of you guys have heard of super colliders, the Higgs-Bison particle, and a couple other ones where uh, we're taking atoms and smashing them uh, physically and breaking off pieces, finding these itty-bitty pieces. Uh, we're not going to get into that. That's uh, much more advanced chemistry and physics classes. What we're going to talk about is the large-scale properties of atoms, which is funny to think of something being large-scale in an atom. But an atom is composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons are particles that are within the nucleus of an atom that are positively charged. They have a plus one charge. Neutrons are particles within the nucleus of an atom that have a zero charge, have a neutral charge, and electrons have a charge of negative one. So by definition, atoms themselves have no charge at all. They are neutral items. Therefore, the number of protons must equal the number of electrons to result in that neutral charge. 